Get on the back. Here we go. Day three. Mana pools. Follow the Here we are sitting on a foul morning. Foul in so much as the weather is disgusting. No sun, a lot of wind, much dust. But at Minor Pools there is always entertainment in the trees. What do you do? In fact, any time there are baboons, there is entertainment. Apparently that's a very tasty piece of fig tree. Swaying in the wind there. This dude is hanging right on the end of the tree. His name is Jeremiah. Jeremiah has got no friends. So what he's doing, he's hanging on the end of the tree in order to look like a daredevil. Unfortunately for Jeremiah, no one cares. No one is looking and he is doomed to live his life as a solitary baboon, hoping for some sort of recognition. Can you relate? Well, one doesn't like to admit to relating to a baboon like Jeremiah, but I suppose I can relate. Mmm, <laughs> delicious figs. Male baboon thing. I don't think he's had a swim. Now that elephant has been swimming. Maybe he's come from Zambia. He looks around all the time, this young male, for fear that a bigger one might come and bash him. What is interesting about these baboons, the males especially, you know, he's being definitely being chased, is that a mid-ranking male actually has the best time. The high-ranking males and the low-ranking males both seem to have very high levels of stress hormone. The high rankers, because they're obviously very stressed with trying to maintain their position at the top of the troop, and the low rankers, because they're constantly being beaten up by the high rankers. But the mid rankers, possibly like this chap here, have much lower levels of stress hormone because they don't have to fight to maintain their positions and no one's bashing them. And you can see by his disposition he's just much calmer, not looking over his shoulder. And some baboons go their lives living this mid-ranking level unlike to father too many youngsters, but they live very comfortable lives. This 
the youngster is making a squeaking noise. It either wants to feed or it wants to uppy. No, it wants to feed. It is trying to grab its mother's teats as they walk. Imagine how strong her teats must be to have a toothed male youngster attached to them. It's also nervous. See how it went? wants to stay underneath her. Terrible morning. It is just throwing an absolute hissy fit. Titty fit. Hissy fit. All the while, the elephants just don't give a damn. There are some quilias, quite a lot. I'd say 7,384. And I'm hoping they're going to murmurate in front of us. There they go. <laughs> it is very difficult to shoot quilias. Colors. filming it with the cell phone. I can no longer get him with this lens because he's basically in the car. Now the fascinating thing about this guy is that he was walking past us. He turned and he looked and then he kind of swung towards us and then he turned and he looked and I think what he's looking for is an interaction as many young male mammals tend to. He's probably around 18 years old and a bit bored walking around here looking for pods and he thought he'd just come and say hi.
we've got three crowned hornbills, only two in picture. One is a juvenile. This is possible to see because it does not have a red face. It has a yellowish face and looks confused. It is currently having a lesson on how to walk on uneven ground with its teacher, Mr. Johnston. Now, Tony, when you walk on uneven ground, always look out for something to eat. Unfortunately, he's not a very good student, is our Tony. OK, Mr. Johnston, can I eat this? No, that's a piece of mud. But it tastes nice. Shut up, Tony, and pay attention. OK, Mr. Johnston. Look, I found... Oh, oh, no, I didn't find any. What have you got there, Mr. Johnston? I'm breaking up a piece of mud, hoping there'll be a grub in it. What's a grub, Mr. Johnston? It's like a worm. I don't like worms, Mr. Johnston. Shall I look for it in here? No, there's nothing there. I'm looking anyway. Come on, hurry up. But there might be a, a grub. See, I learned, Mr. Johnston, a grub. Ooh, I found another piece of mud, Mr. Johnston. Shut up, I told you not to eat mud. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Ooh, you're a hopeless case. Easy there. Be grey. His name is Byron. It's Byron the Eland Bull. This is his harem of ladies. Your name's Stacy. They're all called Stacy. Stacy 1 to Stacy 45. Byron likes a Stacy. Here's Byron. Have a good evening in the woodlands there. Doesn't look like there's a lot of predator action here. Apart from one troop of very skittish banded mongoose. So I don't think you oaks are in a lot of danger from them. Cool. Have a good one. Peace out. We're going to go and have a bezer on the side of the river. Check you tomorrow. Dinner is on the go, and now I'm going to take my first sip of this bitterly cold Zambezi lager. Utterly spectacular.